The SAP add-on tools were developed after listening to customer feedback over many years uh, of SAP implementation and optimization. There is some common problems with the SAP supply chain. There are some white spots in the SAP standard functionality, uh, like, for example, an, a an XYZ um, segmentation according to consumption. Consistency of the past cannot be done with standard tools. There is problems um, around the fact that lead times are considered static in the standard SAP system, but they really not. Uh, SAP Germany has for that developed a replenishment lead time monitor. Safety stocks and lot sizes are mostly based on guesswork. There is an there is a, a safety stock simulator and lot and and uh, a lot size simulator that uh, uh, works with uh, developing perfect lot sizes with the least cost and um, good safety stocks based on an advanced method. There is um, exception and error management, uh, which is extended and goes w way beyond what SAP offers in its standard functionality with an SAP error um, cockpit. There is the MRP monitor that allows for segmentation and automated policy update uh, for, for many materials at, at, at a time. And there is the inventory cockpit that uh, allows for for a analysis and uh, optimization of your inventories all in one transaction, as opposed to the LIS where you have to go to many different transactions and pull data together, often have to copy it into an Excel spreadsheet. The inventory cockpit actually offers a a uh, one-stop shop for for inventory analysis. Uh, with many KPIs that are not available in standard SAP. If you're thinking about optimizing the use of your SAP standard software, BigByte offers packaged solutions that start with the optimization of your stand of the use of your standard ECC or APO software package. Uh, we're looking at your process and. Uh, uh, getting the most out of the SAP functionality as it is in the standard. As a second step, we then offer the uh, the SAP consulting solutions, the SAP add-on tools, um, which um, cover, as mentioned before, the white spots that SAP standard cannot provide. With it comes the ABC XYZ classification, also an EFG for 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 lead time or an an a life cycle classification. With it comes um, um, an automated policy update, uh, replenishment lead time monitor, uh, an, an, an inventory controlling cockpit, and many, many more. And um, as the a third step, we then offer the package solution where we look at the process and how to most efficiently execute the process using standard SAP as well as the uh, SAM consulting solutions, the SAP add-on tools. There's many advantages. There's advantages for the business, of course, with an within optimized process and transparency uh, in the system, better use of it, increasing the competence of your users. But there is also advantages for IT because as soon as you sign up with the SAP add-on tools, you have direct access to uh, SAP in Germany. And if there is any customized solution that you would need, it could be developed right uh, with SAP resources, with SAP capabilities, and completely, of course, integrated into the SAP standard system. Um, every development is done by um, in, within the SAP namespace and uh, is done so that any, any upgrades or anything thereafter is not a problem. There is a multitude of cockpits, monitors and simulators that is being offered by SAP Germany and uh, SAP Germany is constantly developing more of those tools um, but they are meant to to just cover white spots in the standard SAP functionality and not to replicate any existing functionalities. So if you look at the individual cockpits and monitors, you will not find anything uh, that's already available in the standard SAP system. And for that reason, it's very important that you first go through an, an evaluation on how much use you're making of the existing SAP system before you go on 
uh, to implement these monitors. But um, as soon as we get the most out of the existing SAP standard system, we can look into these monitors and um, for and, and make sure that uh, we are using the system to its full extent and uh, above and beyond. The tool safety stock and reorder point simulation that we'll discuss here in this video is uh, mainly used for inventory control. It's meant to give you much more control over your inventory levels and your service levels by calculating and automatically updating collectively the material master records with an optimized safety stock as well as a reorder point. The idea of effective materials planning is to provide each material with an, a very effective policy. That policy can be plan on demand or it can be a consumption based planning strategy like a reorder point procedure. And in order to make that policy effective, all the other settings like the safety stock, the lead time have to be optimized as well. Now in the MRP monitor, which is another add-on tool that we discussed uh, in, 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 a, in a previous video. Uh, in the MRP monitor, you perform a segmentation and you put your materials into certain classes and then you update those that class with all the materials that belong to it with a certain policy. Now once you set, for example, for uh, short lead time items with consistent consumption and a low consumption value, if, for example, you're updating those materials with a reorder level procedure, then uh, you need to, to pick all those materials individually and update a perfect reorder point and a safety stock level for those. And this is exactly where the safety stock and reorder point simulator will help you because you can uh, simulate um, a number of materials at the same time and then update them with the push of a button. And before we go into the, the live demo, I want to talk a little bit about the various methods that um, the safety stock and reorder point simulator is using. There's, for one, there is the ERP method that you can use in standard SAP. Um, it comes in the forecast screen of the material master record, as you can see here. And um, it does allow you to use lead time variation in consumption, which is the MAD, the mean absolute deviation, and a service level setting on MRP2 in order to calculate a reorder point and then calculate a safety stock and update those in the material master record. This is the so-called ERP method that we can perform in calendar days, but we can also use working days in order to calculate reorder levels and safety stock based on the ERP method. Now with the safety stock and reorder point simulator with the add-on tool comes also an advanced method that uh, also uses lead time, service level, and mean absolute deviation, but it also uses a variation in lead time and it uses a variation in demand uh, for the advanced method to calculate those values. And what uh, that varying variation is that you are underlying for the calculation that you can simulate here in the screen right in the safety stock and reorder level simulator. But um, we'll see all this in the demo and that's where we go right into now. So let's go into a demonstration of the safety stock and reorder point level simulator and for that purposes we're going into the MRP monitor that is um, hosting the safety stock and reorder point simulation. I'm going to pick a variant that's pre-configured. And call up the MRP monitor. So in the result here, we see five materials that were selected in this variant and with those five materials we can simply select them and click on safety stock simulation which gets us into the, the transaction that's hosting safety stock and the order point simulation. What you're seeing here is um, for service levels from 95 percent to 99 percent in one step you see for every material these five steps so um, as we will see in a bit when we go through all the um, 
the individual fields here. You can see that for material 270, it simulates safety starts and reorder levels for service levels of 95, 96, 97, 98, 99 percent. Of course, I can overwrite this with 90 and we'll get the simulation for 10 service levels, as you can see here. But, uh, let me go back here and let's simulate from 95 to 99 in one steps in one step and let's uh, go through the fields first you have here all the functionality that you have um, in the other monitors you can change the layout you can configure your own layout the individual fields that are coming up here for these materials 270 271 272 and so on and so forth are uh, here coming from the MRP uh, from the, from the material master record What's um, interesting here is that we have MADs, mean absolute deviations, and uh, we have um, consumption values here that's coming out of um, the, the consumption history. Um, we have replenishment lead time. We have reorder points and safety stock settings that are maintained currently in the, in the material master record. So here, for example, you can see that in the material master record for material 270, it's a safety stock of 800 maintained and a reorder point of 1,000. Now, if we go into the simulation result, you can now see here that the system has calculated. Here's the service level that's maintained in the material master record currently, and here's the simulated service level. So for the simulated service level, for the service level of 95%, um, the system, the simulator, has calculated the following values here in this line here. And what it does is, according to what we discussed before, it created a simulated safety stock according to the ERP method in calendar days. It also simulated a safety stock value for that result. So the standard price here must be $1. That's why. Uh, we have the same sur sa safety stock quantity as what the safety stock value is. Um, we also have safety stock days of supply that it calculates, and then it calculates a reorder point according to the ERP method in calendar days, and a reorder point value according to the ERP method in cal calendar days. Then it's uh, calculating a safety stock uh, quantity according to the ERP method in working days, a value to it, and days of supply to it. So these, all these values here were calculated with the standard ERP met method in that forecasting screen. Now the system is also then uh, calculating with the advanced method. For example, this is the safety stock that was calculated with the advanced method, taking into consideration the, um, the, the uh, variation in demand and the variation in lead time, as you can see here, and you can identify what that is supposed to be. But also, we're getting here, we're getting safety stock days of supply, we're getting safety stock value, and we're getting, getting the safety stock itself. And the same, of course, is true for our reorder levels. So we have a reorder point that was calculated according to the advanced method using these variations here, and we have a reorder point value to that as well. So now we could do different things, like for example, change the, the service level range or change the um, the the, um, the deviation in lead time or the the variation in uh, demand and therefore simulate the new safety stocks and reorder points according to the advanced method. We can check the advanced method off or any one uh, of those two ERP methods. Um, and we can select the material and display a regression graphic on the safety stock or on the reorder point. I'm doing it for the safety stock. And what you see in this regression is how with uh, any service level that's being used, the amount of safety stock, of course, goes up. Um, 
So if you're looking at the regression line here, it becomes at some point in time, it becomes steeper and steeper and steeper. And when it starts crossing this line here, when the regression line crosses the safety stock line, that's probably the, the service level where the safety stock is uh, kind of optimized because any increase in service level has, um, as a consequence, a very high increase in safety stock level. So you want to use the highest uh, service level setting that you can use before this curve here starts uh, becoming really steep. And uh, we can simulate this, you know, for the various service levels here and for the various materials, of course, and um, for whatever materials. We find the optimum service level. We select those. So, for example, if you go to this material 274, we've selected the service level of 96, uh, as well as for the 273, and for the 271, we selected the service level of 98 that produces the following safety stocks and the following reorder levels. Now we want to use those service levels and update the material master record with the service level, with the safety stocks, and we can decide which one, and with the reorder points. And that we are doing by hitting the field material master record, and then you can say you want to take the advanced method, and you want to update the safety stock, the reorder point, and the service level in the material master record, and if you, have, if you hit uh, execute here, the system will go off into those five material master records, and updates the field accordingly. So as we can see here, the uh, this tool is in, it provides excellent functionality for inventory optimization, safety stock uh, settings. Um, the the way you usually go about this is you're using the MRP monitor for segmentation and classification, and then you update uh, certain segments of your materials portfolio with certain policies, and some of those policies need uh, safety stocks, and some of those policies, they require a reorder level with a safety stock. Now, once you're done with your policy update, you, you still have to go into each individual material and update uh, for those that have a reorder level procedure. You have to calculate what the safety stock would be and what the reorder level point would be. So after you're done with your automated policy setting, you're selecting those materials that were updated with the reorder point, um, MRP type, and you're pulling those into the safety stock and reorder point simulator. And here you perform the simulation, you identify the best possible safety stock and reorder points for any given service level, and uh, you update the material master records collectively right out of the, the simulator. So uh, it, um, it's a, an excellent uh, tool in order to automate things, in order to optimize things, and in order to help you to manage your portfolio and always have the, uh, the most um, effective policy being set. If you'd like more information about the Safety Stock and Reorder Point Simulator or any other of these uh, SAP add-on tools, um, you can either go to the SAP website for inventory optimization. You can go to bigbytesoftware.com. Um, you can read Mark Hoppe's books. They made a, make a lot of references to these add-on tools. And you can go to my um, supply chain blog where I frequently write about the add-on tools but uh, also about any other aspects of SAP supply chain optimization. Thank you very much for listening to this video. Please don't hesitate to contact either one of us, either Mark Hoppe in Germany or myself here in the United States. Uh, thank you very much.